Alright my fellow degenerates, they were checking out the only subreddit where my masochism outweighs my need to make content. It's r slash yif in hell. More monetized masochism, damn it. Under this flag, you... ill? You ill be accepted. Queer, zoo, whatever. Bring in some hugs, friends. Okay, you see, I don't want to spend the last days of Pride Month telling you guys that zoo files and bestiality people are not welcome in the LGBTQ community. I really don't want to do that. But here I am in my bathroom at 11.48 in the evening recording this entire video. I do not care what kind of design you would use for your flag, it is meant to be burned. When you decide to turn half of the universe into ponies so that you could fulfill your fetish, including yourself. A small price to pay to get rid of my naughties. <laughs> you know, I think this is more of along the lines of uh, bronies, I think. Yeah, it's along the lines of that. I don't know if the bronies are like uh, the sub-branch of a furry candidate? I don't know, man. I don't know what to say to this. It's weird. I'm not a Marvel fan, but this could probably be, probably be the weirdest iteration or fan art of Thanos that I've ever seen. I may be a disgusting furry, but at least I'm not a Jake Paul fan. That's like the biggest flex that we have on everyone. Okay, so what we have here is a TikTok. And it says, maturing is realizing. Randall was actually hot as frick. So looking back into the actions of Randall the chameleon monster in Monsters Incorporated, I kind of have to like point out a very important, very, very fine detail that makes Randall not quite as desirable as he this girl claims. Didn't he kidnap a freaking child? Like yeah, I might be I might be hallucinating here, but I might get like a little bit of a Mandela effect here. But uh, I precisely remember that he kidnapped a child. Hot dog, hot dog. Know the difference? What? They both taste good, so it's pretty hard to tell the difference. No matter what kind of context that you want to put into the sentence, it's never gonna sound right. In one context. This person might be eating dogs. You know, that could be his, like, you know, reason for saying that dogs taste good and hot dogs taste the same. Maybe that's his reason. Or, in another context, this person eats out dogs. Like, just eats out dog booty. They like it so much, in fact, that they would compare the taste to similarly like a sausage. Neither of those contexts sound right to me. And we shall move on, because I have nothing else to say about this. Happy National EMS Week, y'all! Okay, what the hell is this doing here? This is wholesome. I mean, it's not like there's a car crash patient in inside of this ambulance. It's not like there's someone dying on that uh, stretcher over there. That would be very cursed, but he's just posing inside of an ambulance in a partial suit. There's nothing wrong with this. Come on, you guys. Enough of the whale freaking is not consensual bullshit. A humpback whale weighs 70,000 pounds. It is 50 feet long, can dive more than a quarter mile, and can crush ships with a single swipe of its tail. If a human manages to frick one, you damn well better believe it's consensual. You know, I have no idea whether or not this is satire. Also, what kind of degenerate out there would like to have to clap? Uh, I can't believe I'm saying this recording. Uh, would want to clap the cheeks of a humpback whale. And please, for all intents and purposes, do not actually answer that question. Oh, yeah? Good. Daddy Coon. Goofy's been a naughty little dog. It needs to be punished. Oh, yeah? Now, before I pass judgment on whoever it is the person that drew a horny little Goofy wearing a bunny onesie in an Easter-themed uh, pictorial, I gotta ask. Why are the texts vibrating? Is this picture exuberating such horny energy that even the texts are feeling the horny from within? 
When your grandma smashes your PS5, so you smash her daughter. Get nay-nayed. Incest, wincest, y'all! And you know what else is better than incest, wincest? It's revenge, incest, wincest. Grandma smashes your PS5, you smash your mother. Not only will you contribute to the high population growth of Alabama, but you will now commence the fun activity of figuring out whether or not you will get a brother or a son. The fox roars mightier than the lion. Uh, please, don't turn me into a... The furry centipede, I weakly plead out while the lion restrains my paws with medical restraints. I cry out and weakly try to move my limbs before they can be strapped down. You know, I, ac I actually tried, you know, I actually tried to read this. I actually tried to read this with everything that I have, with every ounce of voice acting talent, which is not much by the way, that I have. I could be using uh, this little talent that I have to make more comic videos, but instead I'm inside my bathroom reading this degenerative content for you guys. Cringetopia users explaining how they accidentally found scat inflation yif diaper puh. You know, contrary to popular belief, yif doesn't find you, okay? It doesn't just like pop out of nowhere out of your browser like uh, a pop-up ad or something. It, you have to specifically look for it yourself. Like you literally have to search for it, you know? How you can't accidentally find the scat inflation yif in just in the above level of the internet. It's kind of like um, deep web browsing but with less murderous intent. Okay, can we like stop this? Can we like can you guys like stop for just one? You know what? Just stop. I stop it. Okay, zoo files. I know you're the most vocal of all of the generates in Twitter right now, but stealing art to promote your very disgusting agenda is kind of you know not good. If you have to like resort to stealing another person's art in order to you know further your own really disgusting agenda, you're not really winning you know you're, you're not really painting yourselves as good people i mean believe it or not you you were never good people in the first place you know you want to do some very deplorable things but to steal the art of someone else in order to like promote something that is very very unnatural and very very disgusting it just you know it kind of like reserves a very 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 specific place for you in hell. I came here to vape and steal your boyfriend. And I'm all out of bubblegum e-liquid. Okay, now this, this I respect. This is the kind of cringe that I want to laugh at. I would not feel embarrassed looking at this. But in the same time, I would want to empower this person, all right? I mean, never mind the fact that she has the color scheme of Princess Bubblegum's pubic hair. But I would still say more power to you, okay? I hope you are living the best way of your life right now. And that brings us to the end of r slash Yif and Hell. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. Follow me on Twitter, chat with me on Discord, support me on Coffee. My coffee link is in the description below. And don't forget to check me out on TikTok. The links will be provided for you in the description below. This has been your fellow degenerate cookboss88, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Stay foxy, much love.